Good evening. A Tarrant County jury sentenced a nurse to 57 and a half years in prison for the murder of her toddler grandson. Prosecutors say Patricia Flores let the boy's severe burns go untreated after she scalded him with hot water in a bathtub at her Halton City home. First here on Fox 4 News at 6, Phil Avalado is in downtown Fort Worth. And Phil, you have reaction to the sentence. And the jury is sending Patricia Flores to 57 and a half years in prison. Uh, prosecutors wanted a life sentence, but uh, the state uh, says that Flores is 44, and so she'll likely spend the rest of her days in prison. Patricia Ann Flores, guilty beyond a reasonable doubt of the offense of murder, has charged the indictment, assess her punishment and confinement in the Texas Department of Criminal Justice for 57 and one half years. Patricia Flores hung her head looking down at the defense table until the very end. And after the verdict, life's maternal grandmother described Flores as selfish and cruel. Why didn't you get him medical attention? Because you chose self-preservation over his life. Our family is forever broken. It should not hurt to be a child. And you can't even look at me. Flora surprised everyone when she pled guilty to murder, but she wanted a jury to decide her punishment. The state showed Patricia Flores held her two-year-old grandson, Life Flores, in a tub of hot water until he had third-degree burns on his arms, legs, and waist, and then didn't get him medical attention for six days. To actually hear what she put him through. Life has an 18-month-old sister. Her family shows her pictures of her brother, so she will also never forget. And it breaks my heart because he should be here for her to hug and kiss, not, not a picture. Prosecutors asked for a life sentence. Patricia Flores is 44 and facing a 57-year prison term. Prosecutors and the family say they're satisfied. The family says they will continue to work on child abuse awareness. We are very involved with the Johnson County Advocacy Center, and that's just part of like his legacy. We do a lot of stuff in memory of him with the Advocacy Center, and we just need to spread awareness and stand up for these poor babies. Our hearts are heavy. They're empty. Prosecutors uh, believe that uh, the jury added that half year to the 57-year sentence as a way of reaching a unanimous verdict. Uh, the state says that uh, Flores will have to serve at least half of her sentence before she's eligible for any kind of parole. Heather?